So keep standing. Don't allow anybody to take away from us what God inspired in the hearts of our founding fathers, what they gave to us in our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution, and what the blood of our citizens has shed to give us for over two centuries. What our troops, often in foreign lands, fight for. Don't you step back not one inch. You tell City Hall, you tell the county government, you tell the state government, the federal government, we don't work for you, you work for us. So let's keep standing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stand with these farmers. Oh, yeah. And I'm here to tell you, I don't know whether you all are aware of this. I wasn't planning to be here today. I was asked at the last minute. Yeah. And I have to say, I have to express this, that the George Allen campaign called me and said, yes. we wanted to be there. All right. We could not be there. They said, but Bishop Jackson, will you go and let them know that George Allen is standing with them? So I'm here to tell you, George Allen is standing with them. And I'm happy to be here to represent that yes. because, folks, yeah. no matter, look, there's no perfect candidate. Some of you know I ran for U.S. Senate, and I've got news for you. I wasn't a perfect candidate either. And my wife would have told you that a long time ago. <laughs> but look, folks, we certainly don't need more of what we've been getting. That's right. We've mm -hmm. got to have real change, Amen. not the kind of change we were promised, meaningless, empty slogans. We've got to have the change that says, we know who we are as Americans. We know what it's taken to build this country. We know what the foundations of our nation are. And we're going to come back to those foundations. That's the kind of change we need in the United States of America. And I'm telling you, Tim Kaine will not give us that. No. Tim Kaine will not give us that. Barack Obama will not give us that. And so, my friends, we've got to make sure that we retire Tim Kaine and make sure that we send Barack Obama back to the country of his choice, but he's got to leave the White House, and we're going to serve them both an eviction notice on November the 6th of yes. 2012. Woo!